morning one year no dear how are you ignore the state it's literally only quarter to six in the morning i'm just about to do a body coach workout and half an hour of yoga oh get me <laughs> i always used to get up early even when i drank but i'd always feel a bit bleh. but no um i'm off to portugal today on a bit of a healthy holiday so um it's marvellous. I mean, a lot of my holidays are healthy now because I don't drink. And it is, I've really got used to it. The first few times I went to the airport was so, so difficult. I think that was one of the, in the year, when I did the year, like for those of you who don't know, I'm about 18 months, I think now. It was last January I started. Oh, the first time I went to the airport, I, oh my God, I ate everything that was chocolate, everything just to compensate. I mean, I don't tend to do that now much <laughs> but it was just so hard because I always used to drink a lot at the airport so I just used to love it you know it's part, part of my holiday no matter what time of day it was off I'd go you know on the wines and um I've just done a other video and I said on that that um I used to work for Jason Vale the juicing guy on his uh juice and fitness retreats and I used to be the fitness instructor for him and I used to get a bit of anxiety leaving home because I'd leave the family for two weeks at a time. Simon had dropped me off at the airport. But I used to be like quite excited and it used to get me over leaving them. How you do, you know, that emotional crutch of a good old wine. And um, I'd just quit, go around the shops and then I'd just go and sit in a bar. I'd always order two large glasses, um, two large glasses of wine. And, uh, and then I'd have more on the plane. And then literally I'd get to the other side and I'd be quite squiffy. You know those little bottles of Prosecco and it was like two for £10? Well, I made my own offer up and it's called four for £20. <laughs> Why not double up? There's no, you didn't even get them cheaper. Just save me asking later. So I did, I'd get those and then, you know, on a five hour flight. And then, you know, I'd get to the other side and I was a bit squiffy and sometimes you'd meet, you'd have to wait at the airport for other guests and I couldn't even disguise myself as a guest. I did at first, so nobody'd know, but then I used to teach Nordic, well, I still do teach Nordic walking, so I'd have a big lecky bag full of poles and I'd have to go and get that and so I'd be walking and I'd be meeting other guests and they'd go, oh, what's that? And I'd say, oh, it's, I'm, I'm actually a fitness instructor. <laughs> half cut <laughs> dreadful really but you know they always used to find it quite humorous but uh but it's just funny how you change because you're not drinking and i think you know before you start if a lot of you at the beginning or a lot of you are thinking about it i mean if you're on this page on one year no b you might have gone past the point of thinking about it but i know a lot of people contact me on my page so i'm really thinking about not drinking sally i thought about it seriously for probably 12 months before I actually found one year no beer. I knew it was really starting to piss me off at my alcohol relationship with alcohol. And one of the big things for me, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest and admit this to you, and it's, I'm not even shameful about it, because it is what it is, you know, and I'm glad it happened because it really stuck in my mind. There was one time at the airport, and it's when I used to drink four or five nights a week, a bottle of wine, and I just felt I was having too much. And I remember being at the airport once and I was going to work on one of the retreats and I'd had two or three glasses of wine, big glasses in the bar and you know, I was getting on the flight and you know they can take, it can be two hours before you get another drink and I used to get anxiety, the fact that oh my god I've got to wait that long and you'd be sat on an awkward bloody space on the plane where you were last to be served. And I, I literally used to get, oh, for God's sake, just hurry up, hurry up and come. Couldn't concentrate about anything. I just wanted another glass of wine. So what I used to do is I used to go and buy to Boots and buy a meal deal. And I'd get it with a bottle of apple ties, which is a green glass bottle. And I'd then go to Duty Free and buy a bottle of wine or some of them little ones. Uh, and then... I'd, what I'd do, I'd go to the toilet and sit on the loo, not go into the loo, you know. <laughs> you don't need to know that. I'd get rid of the apple ties and I'd put wine in it and then I'd take that onto the plane and then I was happy. 
you know, and then I just sat there chilled. And then when the drinks trolley came round, I'd get more Prosecco. And I remember sat on the pla on the toilet once in Manchester Airport doing that. And I just remember thinking, Sally, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? You know, and it really, really struck a chord with me that. And it was time I thought, this is just ridiculous, you know. So I don't know what else you lot have done. You know, I'd love to know. Just, you need, you need to be honest with yourself. You know, what have you done that you think, do you know what, it's time now just to bloody have a word with myself. Because I got sick of my own bullshit, if I'm honest. And that was my motivation for starting this one year no beer when I remember about things like that. But it all has to start with honesty. Don't just brush it under the carpet. Really analyse what your behaviour is like. And, you know, if you're happy with it, then fine. You know, don't judge yourself. This isn't all about judgment. It's just about being honest with yourself. And I felt mortified, really. I just thought, you silly bitch, you know. I know you should be nice to yourself, but I just thought, what are you doing? And that was a big catalyst for me. So, um, and it must have been another six months after that before I joined One Year No Beer, at least, you know. But it was just little things like that started to happen. But anyway, I'm off today. I'm going to... But do you know what? The crap thing is, I love, I love looking around the shops at the airport. I love it. You know, and I love there's a Pret in Manchester Airport, so I love that, and because that's good food for the plane. And Simon said last night, he said it's Terminal Three. <sighs> and if you don't know that at Manchester, it's utter shite. And this is the thing. Do you know why it's utter shite? I think it's shite now. But when I was drinking, I couldn't care if I went from Terminal Twenty Four. As long as it had a bar in, I wasn't bothered where I was. You know, Terminal Three's got a big bar, but. I'm not interested, you know, I'm not, I used to drink at any time of the morning, that's the, it's got its own time zone as airports, but now obviously that's not the focus, so Terminal 3, let me tell you, is crap, you need to be at Terminal 1, Terminal 2 next, and Terminal 3, well, do you know what, it's really useless, anyway, seven minutes, I try not to go on so long, so yeah, have a great day, but what, if you're in the early days, or you keep resetting, you need to, think what are the things you do that you think do you know what have a word all right list them list them list your own bullshit all right then bye